Now the whole world had one language and a common speech. As men moved eastward, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. They said to each other, Come, let's make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They used brick instead of stone and tar for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heavens so that we may make a name for ourselves and not be scattered over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the men were building. The Lord said, If as one people, speaking the same language, they have begun to do this, then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth. This is the account of Shem. Two years after the flood, when Shem was a hundred years old, he became the father of a Faxad. And after he became the father of a Faxad, Shem lived five hundred years and had other sons and daughters. When Aphaxad had lived thirty-five years, he became the father of Shelah. And after he became the father of Shelah, Aphaxad lived four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters. When Shelah had lived thirty years, he became the father of Eba. And after he became the father of Eba, Shelah lived four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters. When Eba had lived thirty-four years, he became the father of Pelig. And after he became the father of Pelig, Eber lived 430 years and had other sons and daughters. When Pelig had lived 30 years, he became the father of Reu. And after he became the father of Reu, Pelig lived 209 years and had other sons and daughters. When Reu had lived 32 years, he became the father of Sirug. And after he became the father of Sirug, Reu lived 207 years and had other sons and daughters. When Sirug had lived thirty years, he became the father of Nahor. And after he became the father of Nahor, Sirug lived two hundred years and had other sons and daughters. When Nahor had lived twenty-nine years, he became the father of Terah. And after he became the father of Terah, Nahor lived a hundred and nineteen years and had other sons and daughters. After Terah had lived seventy years, he became the father of Abram. Nahor and Haram. This is the account of Terah. Terah became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran became the father of Lot. While his father Terah was still alive, Haran died in Ur of the Chaldeans, in the land of his birth. Abram and Nahor both married. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah. She was the daughter of Haran, the father of both Milcah and Iscah. Now Sarai was barren. She had no children. Terah took his son Abram, his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, the wife of his son Abram, and together they set out from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. Terah lived 205 years and he died in heaven.